in the name of Jesus, who calls us to prayer and to service and to fellowship. Welcome to Westminster United Church, an affirming ministry in the United Church of Canada. So glad you could be here this evening for uh, a time of uh, evening prayer and uh, a chance for us to, uh, to focus at the end of the day um, on whatever our day happened to be. So welcome. Um, I hope all of you are doing well and uh, staying healthy and um, safe. And before we begin, I'd like to um, just remind you about uh, our schedule moving forward. Um, on Tuesday mornings at 11 a.m., uh, I'll check in and share a few readings and just uh, uh, check in here with folks. We're hoping eventually to do that Tuesday morning time on Zoom. Uh, so that we can make it more interactive and we can see one another's faces and uh, and and have a real chat. So um, uh, it'll be more like a coffee and conversation time, I'm hoping, uh, once we get that set up. Um, so watch your emails for any um, announcements about Zoom gatherings. And you'll see they're very wordy and there's a, a link that you'll click to get to the site uh, where the conversation's happening. If you don't have the Zoom app on your uh, computer or device already, it's very easy to, uh, to download, very easy to get. Um, uh, so hopefully you'll be able to do that. Um, next up, Thursday evenings will continue to be um, uh, Thursday evening prayer here um, in my dining room. Um, at 7 p.m. and we'll probably keep that on um, the Facebook Live page, um, at least for the time being. And on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m., not 10.30 like our worship time it usually is, but at 10 a.m., um, we'll be having a time of prayer and reflection. And I promise that time will be over in time for you to join the Trinity Live broadcast at 10.30. Uh, so we'll just have a prayer and a short reflection and maybe some a few announcements about um, Westminster life, that sort of thing. Um, so that's, uh, that's the announcement portion of our evening. Um, so let's center ourselves for prayer uh, by lighting our candle. And if you have a candle at home, you're welcome to light one there now. And as always, we light this candle to remind ourselves that Jesus is the light of the world and his light shines in all of us. So I'd like to start with a reading from the Reverend Dr. Leslie Stewart of the Church of Scotland. She reminds us of a time we will hear about in a few years or a few weeks to come after Easter. And it's that time when Jesus is gathered with, or rather Jesus has gone. He's no longer with his friends and his friends are gathered in that upper room and they've locked the door. That's how afraid they are for their lives. And into that room, despite the locked door, enters Jesus and he wishes them peace. So that's what this reading is based on. And uh, Dr. Stewart calls it locked down. There were other doors, once locked in fear, in a time of waiting and distress. It was uncertain, a questioning time, longing for what had been known and treasured before. Into that space, calming and soothing, came these welcome words, peace. Be with you. Peace be with you in every worry, in every sleepless night, in every loss experienced, in every comfort now distant. Peace be with you in every certainty, in the shared burden of these days, 
in the unexpected connections, in the gift of another sunset and sunrise. Peace be with you and yours, the deepest peace, the strongest peace, the peace that passes all understanding. Christ is our peace and is in our midst. His words echo again, peace be with you. As we begin our prayer, I'll just remind you that when we come to the Lord's Prayer, you are invited, of course, as always, uh, to begin that prayer in any way that's meaningful for you. Let's pray. Holy One, Divine Mystery, hear our prayer this night. In these challenging times, as we carry around so much concern and a burden of worry. Help us to also be thankful for you are with us, guiding our way. Help us to pause tonight before we sleep to think of one deep blessing we felt during this day. Help us to hold that blessing within our hearts and minds and spirits as we enter into a night of renewed sleep. Our prayers go out tonight for all affected by this coronavirus, for frontline medical workers, first responders, and all essential workers. We pray for their health, as they work to keep us all safe and fed. God, allow us in this time to listen again to the wind and the earth and to the gentle whisper of you calling our name. May we hear in your voice words of love and hope and peace and comfort. May each of us in our private worry hear your universal cause, your universal call to pause, to lay down our burdens, and to find welcome rest this night. In this time of silence, we raise up to you the concerns of our heart. Bless us this night, O oh God, and when we wake, let us be strengthened for another day and blessed in the assurance that you are with us always. And now we pray together in the way that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This night gently enfold us in your wonder, O God. This night gently enfold us in your peace, O Jesus. This night gently enfold us in your joy, O Holy Spirit. This night gently enfold us in your hope. And now may the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of us this night and forevermore. Amen. Thank you all for being here. 
and uh, we'll see you back here on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. Until then, be well and be safe and be blessed. Good night.